Ha. It didn't. If I should come pop up from the bottom. Hey, there it goes. School oh, time with digital puppets. Yeah, okay. you got to remember, we cut this section out as a standalone. Do it one more time. I want to do the voiceover, so when we cut it out and do it as a standalone little section, it's got like an intro. Go, do it again. Okay, one more time. School time with digital puppets. On this week's section, Anthony, what are you teaching us? Uh, this week, we are going to have a look at custom walk cycles. So... Let's, let's get this set up. Um, I've got a very s real simple character I've just knocked together for this one. Um, what I'm actually going to do is share the screen, I think. So, there we are. Okay. Oh, Anthony, you're showing your ugly face. Oh, that's, that's fine. <laughs> That's okay. Um, Hide me out of the way a little bit. Okay, so with this character, what we've done now is we've set up a walk cycle, but not in the the way it's normally set up in character animator. Um, I'll give you a quick preview. The walk cycle is really bad. Like I say, it was very quickly knocked together. Um, but this has been done by creating. Um, framed animation within the animation software so if i go into the rig i will show you what it looks like once it loads up a mess um <laughs> yeah there you go oh. okay so as you can see here we have a walk cycle um, multiple layers and it's running on a cycle layer that is set up on a continuous loop so it's set to start immediately and it runs continuously so that is simple I mean you know we know we can add triggers um, for any animations anyway but what we can then do with this is on that cycle animation uh, folder if we add a right, to, uh, a right toe and a right heel and a waist. I think you might only need the right toe, but to be safe, I've added right toe, right heel and a waist um, handles. And then the same for the left body. Um, so the left animation is set up obviously in the opposite direction with left toe, left heel and left waist. That will then run the walk cycle controls so as long, you, know, you have to have the walk cycle set up in character animator so if we go back in we now get that animation running while it's moving left and right so this kind of, the reason you could use this is you know you, it doesn't have to be a standard walk cycle you could have him doing rolls or doing jumps you could have him jump into a car and drive Fine. off yeah, or flying around, it just adds an, um, another element to it. Um, I then... mean, the character animator um, templates are great, especially for people that don't know how to animate. But if you are um, more advanced, if you do know how to animate, then this offers you a much um, wider, deeper, yeah, um, and if you've got um, if to you've do got, a lot more with it. If you've got a specific animation, you know, a specific walk cycle that you need you know you've got a certain walk i mean you you've only got so many that you can do within um within character animator within the setup so it's just a nice simple way of doing that um i'll just quickly show as well the setup for that um you need to turn the strength all the way down to zero um adjust the body speed accordingly um like i say i've only had a quick play around but the settings make a big difference down here. So, um, walk cycle. Like, you know, we can turn, we adjust the body speed. We want to step speed to be lower. So, you know, you would adjust this until you get it to match a walk cycle. I'd say, quick walk cycle, it doesn't. 
it's not the greatest, but it kind of shows the point. But then the other thing I wanted to show you was once this is set up, you can then trigger different walk cycles within this. So I've got a walk cycle set up where the character shrinks down. So while you're doing your walk cycle, you can trigger something else. So, you know, you could have him walk in and then trigger in a little jump animation. But again, like, We'll have a bit more of a play around with this. This is something new that we've come across, so we just thought we'd share what we've got so far. And it, you know, again, I mean, that this really goes a little bit to what we were talking about earlier, um, having a controllable character walking around a room, because you can also, um, at the moment, like that character there, you, when he uh, walks left and right, he cuts to a hard left or a hard right. But you can animate from a forward pose into a turn pose, can't you, Ant? Uh You can, yeah, and. I've character I've just made for someone um we've got that we've it's and it's a real simple setup you um you literally just animate your turn from forward to your left and then your right profile um add a cycle layer on it and the bottom then the bottom uh, folder will just have um your left and right profile set up well that will be another show I'll do um how to add um, turns, but it's a, it's a yeah. simple thing, but it gives it a nice, yeah. you know, instead of it jumping straight to left and right, it gives you a nice, smooth, animated turn. Um, and like I say, we'll, we'll showcase that, and we'll also do a little tutorial on how to put that together. But, you know, it's a bit like what we were talking about earlier, where we were um, saying how you could create a, a fully controllable character that can walk around in any direction you want it to, and then you could, you know, do like a proper show with it. Using it, okay, it's a bit of a, a hacky way of doing it, but it completely works, and it gives you a lot more um, options to do something really advanced and really um, clever. So I 